bond oversight committee, I mean, we're supposed to help in the oversight of what's going on. You're right, the board doesn't have to adopt this, but why wouldn't they? You know, if they, if they truly want, because I, I think, you know, the last bond issue didn't pass, and I think a lot of it is due to some mistrust, not, not in current staff, maybe not even in past staff, but it's hard to go to the public and get more money and ask for more money when we've got all this stuff going on back here in the back. And so I think it's like, like it's been stated by Peter and other people, I think it's important that we take a stand. We seldom take a stand on anything. We, we have a hard time voting on anything. But I think we need to take a stand and we stand by that, then the board can come back and the board can say, well, you know what, we don't agree with that. We're not going to let them have anything. We're not going to involve them in anything. We're not, you know, we're going to pick our attorney down here who's been helping us on all these other projects, let them pick the auditor who helped put together the bond. Perhaps SGI can provide us with somebody, and we'll, we'll just take care of that that way. But again, I feel like we need to take a stand. We need to put the stand out there for the board the board can accept it or reject it. But they need to do that. that. That's a step they need to take. They need to say, no, we're not going to do it. We're going to reject the advice and the resolution of the Bond Oversight Committee, or we're going to accept it so we can clarify everything. And I think that's real critical. Otherwise, why are we here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have and then we're going to vote. I just wanted to kind of second that emotion of uh, be it interpreted as illusion of grandeur by some. Nevertheless, there's this is a resolution which the Board of Education can respond to in some way. If it is absolutely overreaching and overshooting the, you know, the mark, then it, it, it just seems like uh, this committee, and I expressed some of my misgivings earlier on the, in the actual resolution, but I still, or not the resolution, but the committee, and I voted for it. So I do tend to agree with uh, the notion of um, making very specific and seemingly overreaching, perhaps, uh, authority in, in this resolution, because it is just that. It's a resolution. It, it expresses the, uh, the, the mood and feelings uh, of this committee about this important item. So thanks for your comment. Thank you, Madam Chair. Do we need to do public comment on this? Is there someone to do that? Any of the, from the public? Maybe after the committee members comment? have yeah. spoken, Ms. Maureen uh, wanted to say something. Hey, Maureen, well. and then I'll follow up. Uh, thank you. Um, I also participated in the, the meeting that we had at the coffee house, and um, I do understand um, uh, Board Member Block's concerns about the language in here, but this is the CBOC's independent resolution that we're passing. Um, what the Board of Education does with it, if you don't like the, the directness of it, that's the board's, um, you know, prerogative, thank you. Um, I, do, I do want us to think about, though, is that when these um, specialists, the attorney, if, if we go down that, if the Board of Education goes down that road, and um, a forensic auditor, when that, um, if we go down that road, um, we're gonna be sending out an RFP. Um, we wanna uh, be able to participate in who receives that RFP also. We wanna have some say, because <coughs> that again is gonna inform the public, well, you know, they only, you know, chose from from these five, and we need to be really open and participate in all parts of, um, of implementing um, uh, the resolution. So I do support it. Um, I recognize that the language is um, perhaps a little bit uh, uh, forward. <laughs> yes, thank you. And um, uh, but I think it's it's important just based on the topic. Antonio, uh, last comment. I, like many of you, work in the community. I'm a retired teacher, now presently chair of the ACLU branch in Northern California. Um, as I talk to people in the community from St. Mark's to North Richmond, 
to El Sobrante, my community of Montalban Manor, the county, people in San Pablo, on the city council of San Pablo, on the city council of Richmond, with the recent turnover, they're saying, explain to us what is happening. People have lost confidence. We need to rebuild the confidence in our school district. Mm -hmm. Our students need it. Our students need the schools. They need proper schools, not bungalows. And I resent highly when I hear people who do not live in our district come to me and say, the students don't deserve it to Null Valley High School. I went to a bungalow and I'm, I'm succeeding. Yeah. Students don't need uh, a rebuild in Montalban. Where in the hell do you live? In the wealthy areas of Contra Costa County? And the question to them I always ask is, how many minorities, African American Latinos, are on your school or in your district? And one lady actually said, oh, my gardener. Thank you very much. The conversation ends. We need to rebuild the trust of our community. This is one way of saying there's questions we're raising. Let's answer them by an independent counsel, independent investigator, so we can say it's been slush, the statements are incorrect, or they're correct, maybe partially correct. We want to rebuild the confidence for another bond measure or an election. There's going to be fire flying in the next election. Board, point, point of order, I just want to say I completely agree with what Thank you're you. saying. It, uh, it is the decision of the uh, committee if they want to make this resolution. Um, I think we all share the same goals. And the board can accept or reject some of the candidates <coughs> after the board decision in the elected body. We, are, we have another small change. Um, what's the, what's your friendly amendment? It's, um, <laughs> Line 25, which also refers to this committee as an ad hoc committee. So, oh. what I suggest is that the word Smithit, that there would, in, in, in terms of the, the message we're sending, I think we're all in, in agreement. Should this that be this is a, this is a moment from line yeah, 25? Yeah. This is a moment for this committee, the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, the West Palm Council and Central School District, to make a statement to send a message, to make it clear that we are independent, to make it very clear that what we're doing is serving the community and the tax five payers that we represent. We may not be elected, but we are part of this community. And we have taken on the task and we've been working very hard. I really admire the integrity of this committee. And we will stand by this resolution and we will wait to see what the board decides. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Passes, 11 0. Thank you very much. Wait, that was a no. I said no. Oh, no. Don, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Uh, what's the final? 10 1. 10 1. All right, let's go on.